Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Back Talk Sports. I'm here with TJ, and we're going to jump right back into the West region of bracketology. What's our next game, TJ? We got Arizona versus Belmont. This is actually a pretty interesting game. I see a lot of people picking the upset with 11 seeded Belmont over 6 seeded Arizona. What do you have? Personally, I like Arizona in this game. The 6 11 1, not, a t not too much of a popular upset there. I think Arizona's a stronger team, having more experience with bigger, t with, uh, bigger games. Uh, I like Arizona. See, I like your reasoning for bigger teams, bigger games with Arizona winning, but I just see Belmont as sort of a out of the out of the blue team who can come up and defeat some really good teams. We just had Bruce Pearl on and he said the Mountain West teams such as New Mexico, they're weak. So if you're talking Cinderella teams, I wouldn't be surprised to see Belmont beat Arizona, beat New Mexico, and face Ohio State in a round right there. Well actually that's interesting because I have Arizona going on to beat New Mexico in the next <laughs> round. So All right, yeah. I guess we're both listening to coach there with the Mountain West region. Exactly. <laughs> Next matchup we have is number three, New Mexico, 14, Harvard. Now, Harvard is a pretty close area to us, and <laughs> as much as I want to pick them, I just can't do it. Yeah, I know. I mean, the 314, that's a pretty big leap last year. If this were last, if this, if Harvard were the team that they were last year, I would strongly consider them picking them for the upset, but they aren't. They're a, weak, a little bit of a weaker team this year. I got to go with New Mexico on this one, even though coaches rise words on the Mountain West Conference. I agree. Maybe there'll be a Jeremy Lin rise in Harvard <laughs> somewhere. Who knows? I also picked New Mexico. I have New Mexico and Belmont that next round, but this game is, in my opinion, the most interesting game of the tournament. You see, mm. it's Notre Dame versus Iowa State. Iowa State is a team that shoots the three. They Their money comes when they shoot from way outside, and they just spread the floor, and they can make, they at fourth in all of college basketball in points per game. I got Iowa State in this one. Iowa State. You see, um, it was a, it was a, excuse me, like a Notre Dame, the team. First of all, I think Notre Dame has Notre Dame has had a very weak year this year, very inconsistent. And second of all, I know what I said about Pitt before it. Uh, the reason they beat Wichita State, but that's only for that round. I am not a Big East fan. This, I'm not a Big East fan last year and the last couple of years. They've been known to be getting upset. I got to go with Iowa State in this one. Well, you said you were on a Big East fan. They do have the most teams in the tournament this year. They have eight teams. The Big Ten has seven teams. But they had a lot last year, too. But if you remember last year, a lot of them got upset in early rounds. That's true. That's true. But I, I like Notre Dame here because as much as Iowa State just can make it rain from <laughs> down the court. I think Notre Dame senior Jack Cooley, he led, the, he led the Big East in rebounding this year. He's a leader. He's a senior. He's going into the draft next year. I can see him carrying this team. I don't know about a win over Iowa, Ohio State, but they'll certainly win this first matchup. That's what I'm saying. All right. Next matchup, it's a 2 versus 15. We saw a couple of those upsets last year, Missouri and Duke being One a of few them, of them. One of my championship pick last year. Yeah. <laughs> Ohio State, the 2 seed, facing Iona, the 15 seed. I'm, I'm going with Ohio State here. I mean, even though we had some 15-2 upsets last year, that was very, very rare. Ohio State's a very strong team coming out of the Big Ten. Sullinger's gone, but I still think they can do it. I like them over Iona. That's true. I Iona has been better in the past. I know they certainly they have had better seeds than this, but I am also going with Ohio State. On to the Midwest region. I think this region is stacked for teams in this basketball tournament. The first game, you have Louisville against either North Carolina A&T or Liberty. <laughs> no brainer here, <laughs> Louisville. I don't know. I want to ha sit down, have dinner with the person who picks North Carolina A and T or <laughs> Liberty over Louisville. Um, do, oh yeah, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Next game, Colorado State versus Missouri. This is another interesting game that's close, but another team that I think is overseeded Missouri here. I have Missouri winning this one. Same. I, I love Alex Oriaki going from UConn to Missouri this year. Yep. Great center. I think it'll be a pretty hand, handy win for Missouri over Colorado State. Certainly. That Missouri-Louisville match should definitely be interesting to mm -hmm. see how Missouri can compete with it. I don't think Missouri will win that, but you got to see how they can compete with big Could teams. Could be a close game. Exactly. Next game, Oklahoma State versus Oregon. 
Who do you think will win this one? Oh, this is interesting. You're Oregon coming out of the Pac-12, a, t a division I do not like. Not a lot of great, solid teams. Bigger than a lot of other a lot of other conferences, but not the best conference out there. I like Oklahoma State. They've had a solid year this year, even though the 12-5 Oklahoma State for me. I agree. I think I have Oklahoma State going actually pretty far in this. Mm -hmm. I think they can be, you know, sort of a sleeper, if you will. They're a five seed, which is a relatively low seed, but. I think they could give Louisville a run for their money. Oklahoma State, they have brought it close with Kansas and Kansas State. They had a 1-1 one one record against Kansas this year, a number one seed. But that one loss they had for Kansas was in double overtime. They lost to Gonzaga, another number one seed, by one point. I think that if they had four more points on this season... If they had four more points, they could have beat those number one seeds. They could have been 3-0 and oh against number one seeds this year. I have Oklahoma State going pretty far in this tournament. But then again, you know, those five or four points, it doesn't matter if there's no pictures on the scorecard. Yeah, that's true. Um, next game, St. Louis, New Mexico State. Now, this is interesting here. I got St. Louis going to the Final Four, and this one we'll talk more about it later. Definitely see St. Louis rolling over New Mexico State. Yeah, I agree. I think St. Louis will go over New Mexico State. I don't know about the final four pick. That's bold. But <laughs> it's, I, it's my sleeper pick. All right, all right. I respect that. But Plus, over. One more thing about St. Louis. During the Atlantic 10, which Bruce Pearl talked about, a, 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 a conference to reckon with this year. That's true. Oh, they have a good conference, but I, see, I don't think it's as good as the Big East. I don't think it's as good as the Big 12. I don't know. Right. Um, Memphis versus Mid Tennessee in, or St. Mary's. It's a 6 11. There are actually a good number of people picking the winner of the Mid Tennessee St. Mary's game, which will be tonight. Who do you have in this one? Well, two days ago, I would have said you easily, Memphis, because I really do not like teams who play in the playing game. Mm -hmm. I think it tires them out for the other team. But then again, you could have rust. There's always that rust point, but it's not a big rust like, mm -hmm. if, like in the NFL playoffs where there's a weak difference. I, I see Memphis going over this one. Yeah. I agree. I also have Memphis. I think they can definitely be a force this game. I think they'll be um, they'll be pretty good. The Conference USA they're in isn't too stringent in terms that they don't have that many teams coming up. Uh, Memphis won't make it far, I don't think, but no. they'll certainly give whomever they're facing a run for their money. Right. Next game, Michigan State versus Valparaiso. Who do you have in this one? I think it's pretty clear here, Michigan State. Michigan State's been a strong team this year. I like their... Highly like their chances beating 14 Valparaiso. I agree. Michigan State is, they, they could go far in this one. They're a three seed, but they're definitely going to give Louisville a run for their money towards the end if they do make it that far. But I don't know. There could be upsets. You have. Uh, I have them getting upset. St. Louis. You have Louisville getting upset by St. Louis. Um, <laughs> it's it's a bold pick, but it is a bold. I'm sticking strong. You Louis, have to make those. Louis. I mean, you know, this is the NCAA tournament. You see all those commercials of people popping balloons and <laughs> playing into pretty random things. I think uh, Louisville has been a pretty inconsistent team team this year. One of the lower one seeds, and yeah. I can see St. Louis beating them. You know, I like the 7-10 matchups a lot this year. I think they'll bring a lot of competition. I think the 7-10s, I don't think if a 10 beats a 7, it's that much of an upset because I think Cincinnati, the 10 seed that we're talking about now, is a better team than Creighton. Just all around, I think they have more weapons and I think they can be a better team, more depth than Creighton. Well, here's why, first of all, you better not be right because I got Creighton making it to the Elite Eight against St. Louis. <laughs> All right. Very sleeper bracket. Um, I disagree with you. I think Cincinnati's had a very poor year. Another Big East team. As I've said, I don't like Big East teams. I don't think they do very well in the tournament. Coming almost bottom in the Big East Conference this year, I got to see Creighton making it over them this year. Even though Creighton, Creighton has Doug McDermott, a very strong player. Even though, you know, 10 7, you know, pretty. Even matchup there, not too much cheating difference. I got to see Creighton winning this one. That's true. Creighton is, they're from the Big East, which is definitely a tough conference. And they do have McDermott, like you said. But I don't know what it is I like about Cincinnati that much. <laughs> I just think they're overall a better team than Creighton. And I want to see them go up against Duke, which should be an interesting game. Duke versus Albany. Is there, I mean, Duke got upset last year, but this is two versus 15. I hope no one's putting their money on <laughs> Albany beating Duke. I got Duke. Yeah. I think, you know, last year was a fluke incident. Mike it Krasinski, better have been because yeah. I have them going Mike far. Mike not going to let that happen again. I see them rolling, rolling over the 15 seed. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, after this, we have the South region right now. We have the South division for bracketology. The first game in South is Kansas versus Western Kentucky University. 
one in 16. Uh, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this right after we go for, to our break. But we have some more bracketology for you. An interview. We'll be right back. So we're going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what can happen here at YBA. Kansas <laughs> versus Western Kentucky University. Who do you have? I got Kansas. Another 1 versus 16 matchup. 16's never beaten a 1. I like Kansas. Even though people have said they haven't been that strong this year, I think they'll roll over number 16 seed. Kansas has the heart. They definitely do. Kansas, I think they will be the ones taking it home, honestly. Kansas, four seniors, like I said, four seniors in their starting lineup. They just, this is their last year there. They want to make every single second they can out of it. They're not going to waste anything. I have Kansas going over uh, Western Kentucky here. Next game, eight versus nine. We'll talk about that one after the break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 